First we're going to look at lateral epicondylitis and radial tunnel. And I do my exam for these together because one would be the differential diagnosis for the others. So they're both going to be uh, symptoms in this area. So um, the lateral epicondylitis typically will do a palpation of the lateral epicondyle uh, and would expect exquisite point tenderness. Okay, so just palpating on the epicondyle. Again, the, the literature describes it very well. It, exquisite is a good word. Exquisite uh, tenderness to palpation. Um, then the, the typical tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis test, test would be um, resisted wrist extension. Um, some, well, the, the Indiana protocols used resisted middle finger extension also for lateral epicondylitis. Most other sources place that with radial tunnel. Uh, the, the point, I think, is whatever test you're doing, you need to ask the client where they feel the pain. So in other words, if you're doing what's supposed to be a lateral epicondylitis test, and the patient says, yes, I feel pain, but they feel it more along the ulnar nerve distribution rather than the lateral ep epicondyle, I'm going to go with where they're showing me their pain. Okay, so we're palpating there for the lateral epicondyle, and then just palpating this muscle mass here for radial nerve. And then you can do a more specific palpation. You come up about, kind of diagonally, about an inch or so from the uh, lateral epicondyle, and, and this again would be an area where it might be fairly sharpish, really acute pain for radial nerve there. So then I'm going to do um, my resisted wrist extension. So don't let me pull you down. Bring your hand up and don't let me pull you down. Okay, and I'm looking for sharp pain to the lateral epicondyle. So this, um, you could not rule out the finger extensors versus the wrist extensors. So then I can have her show me a fist. Okay, and same thing, don't let me pull you down. Okay, and again, I'm looking for uh, exquisite tenderness here to the lateral epicondyle. With, um, now I'm, I'm just getting wrist extensors. I've eliminated the finger extensors. I really don't usually um, get anything. Uh, either, either they're both gonna be about the same or the client's gonna say it's, it's worse with the fingers eliminated. And so, so we know then that, that usually, at least in my population of desk workers, that um, the finger extensors, not usually an issue. The issues are usually coming from the wrist extensors, usually the radial side, or I'm sorry, the ulnar sided wrist extensors from mousing. Okay, um, then for more testing for radial nerve um, is the middle finger extension test. Okay, don't let me push you down. Okay, and so again, there's some discrepancy uh, with sources as to whether that's for lateral ep or for radial tunnel. You're going to have the patient tell you where they feel the pain. Um, we can do for, usually this is a radial tunnel test, we're going to extend the elbow and then flex the wrist and that would usually cause some discomfort here that would be relieved when we relax the wrist back up. And then finally, um, I put a little flexion to the elbow. You can cup here to, to protect your elbow, okay? And so I'm gonna give you resistance and supination, okay? So go ahead, turn your hand up, okay? And then we could do it again um, with the supination and then adding in the wrist extension component with it, okay? So, okay. So that would typically be a radial tunnel test, but again, you're going to see where the patient is showing you pain. So then we'll move into our, our medial elbow pain, okay? So our um, diagnosis would be usually medial epicondylitis or cubital tunnel, okay? So medial epicondylitis, again, you're going to look for exquisite point tenderness to the medial epicondyle, okay? Um, then you could do for, for ulnar nerve, you can palpate the medial triceps. You might have some tenderness there. Uh, you can just kind of palpate in the cubital tunnel or along the uh, ulnar forearm here for achiness or numbness or tingling, any of those symptoms, okay? So your medial epicondylitis is going to be, um, I usually flex the elbow, bring the wrist down, and then don't let me pull you up, pull into my hand here, okay? So I'm giving, she's giving me resistance in the flexion and we would expect, you know, pretty sharpish pain um, here for medial epicondylitis, okay? Then for our um, cubital tunnel, we could go back and we could do um, like a tenels. Or we can do tenels here at the funny bone. And then finally for cubital tunnel, we can do just elbow flexion test. 
and I would usually do this test somewhere uh, in the neighborhood of 30 to 60 seconds um, and see if there are any symptoms. The symptoms being any combination or any single either um, numbness or tingling or achy pain anywhere along that ulnar nerve distribution. Uh, sometimes it gets a little tricky because I think that the tingling would be a bit more obvious, but sometimes clients who ultimately, after we've treated them a while and really figured it out, it turns out to be pretty clearly ulnar nerve, but maybe they had the achiness in the distribution uh, that made it a little bit more difficult to tease out.